In this uh, lesson, I will show you how can you can change the elevator model. Um, usually, you click on the left side on the corresponding component, and on the right side, you get a list of properties for these uh, related components. So, under entries one, we have a, a level E0, and then there is a shaft door or landing door. And from here, we can choose from the DigiPara Lift Designer product library. Let's choose a Zematic door, two panel left opening with framed glass 900 millimeters. OK. And this will change the door. You cannot see it now because the model has not been updated. So what happened is in the configuration model of Lift Designer in the background, this uh, model has been updated. So I click now on Update All and this will update my inventor model. And now you see that the glass door is in place and um, our model has been updated. Let me explain you how you can navigate through these um, items here. So usually you can navigate here on the left side through this um, hierarchy. Um, the problem is when you click here on the left side, let's say you want to choose a car frame, you cannot navigate to it here easily. Um, what you can do is in this uh, AutoCAD Autodesk Inventor ribbon, you choose Select Part Priority. And then you see you can choose this um, you can choose this car frame. I select that and click on the right mouse button and click on Find in Browser, and it will select some object called Edit Profiles. And then you go two levels up, and then you can easily find this object. So if you want to graphically find an object, use this um, process. Um, another view on this, on the same configuration model, on the same data, is the main project data. This um, is to show you somehow easier the most important components. So, if we click on shaft here, for instance, you see shaft properties here on the right side, and also in the background you see this exactly the same properties because the same object is selected. But main project data helps you to find the most important objects. And um, you see here also the main uh, characteristics for shaft width and shaft depth calculation. So it's important to understand how Lift Designer calculates shaft width and shaft depth. And it usually calculates these from the uh, main dimensions inside the shaft. So you see the resulting shaft width is 2180 and this is gray or disabled. This is because this is calculated based on a formula based on these different items. The same is for the um, shaft depth here, which is resulting on the door package, the car depth, and uh, the rear car wall distance. 